Have you ever watched a hockey game and wondered if a player might be bending the rules for an unfair advantage? Well, get ready, because today we're getting into the controversy surrounding NHL players caught cheating. Whoa, Does a stick's caught. Yeah, Holden's stick, stick is stuck glass. in the glass. Little deal, cover off. It's a little too late now as the whistle had already gone. Oh, what? Now McKinnon in front, Durant in, and a diving play. And the Blues break it up, and we get a whistle. These incidents have sent shockwaves through the hockey world, raising questions about sportsmanship, penalties, and the potential impact on the game we love. In this video, we'll break down the details of these cheating cases. We'll explore what happened, the suspected rule violation, and how the players was caught. Just once, or twice, make it an odd number three times right there. My advice. We'll also discuss the potential consequences for the players and the team. The NHL, like any fiercely competitive sport, isn't immune to instances of cheating. These situations can range from obvious attempts to gain an edge on the ice to off-ice scandals that cast a shadow on players' reputations. Let's get deeper into some well-known cases and explore the complexities of fair play in professional hockey. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to stay updated on all things hockey and never miss out on our latest videos. Now, let's jump into the world of NHL players caught cheating, Marc-Andre Fleury. Remember, Marc-Andre Fleury, the goalie for the Vegas Golden Knights? Back in 2019, during a game against Winnipeg, something interesting happened. During a timeout, Fleury went back to his net and used his stick to build a small snow wall in front of it. Maybe he thought it would stop the puck. Well, the refs were watching. Freeze, freeze. They're gonna say he put snow in there. <laughs> I'm not sure, eh? Like trying to stack the goal line to make it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> That's exactly what they're doing. They skated over and broke down Fleury's snow fort. It might seem funny, but it's against the rules to change the playing surface like that. Does this kind of trick even work? Well, it depends. If the puck is flying high, a snow wall won't help much. But for a slower shot, it might slow things down a bit. Still not worth getting caught for. What's that conversation on the bench? You can't do that. <laughs> Wait, look at him laughing. <laughs> Roman Josie. Did you see that amazing play by Roman Josie, Nashville Predators, against the Dallas Stars? It was so good, you might have thought he was a goalie for a second. During the game, Stars player Wyatt Johnson had a great scoring chance. But Josie, the Predators defenseman, made an unbelievable save. He reached out with his glove and stopped the puck in midair, just like a goalie would. Another stop, and Josie snared it! Yossi. He saved the goal! A glove save by Josie! Oh my god, I can't believe that! He gloved it and he got rid of it! It totally stopped Dallas from getting an easy goal. But here's the thing, only goalies are allowed to use their hands to block the puck. So even though Josie's save was super impressive, it was actually against the rules. And this is a no-brainer. I don't know if I've ever seen this. Saros down and out. Johnston has a sure goal at Yossi. The referee could have called a penalty against him for stopping the puck with his hand. Honestly, I wouldn't have blamed the Stars fans if the ref called a penalty, but that save was just too awesome. It shows how quick and talented Hosey is as a player. Marshawn's mischief. Remember that time in the second round playoffs, Bruins versus Blue Jackets? During a face-off, everyone was waiting for the puck to drop. Brad, well, being Brad, did something unexpected. He lifted his skate and stomped down hard on the Blue Jackets player's hockey stick. Atkinson's stick has been broken, and he's drawing with Marchand. Not exactly a sportsmanlike move, right? But that wasn't all. After the stomp, Marchand spun around and whacked the other player on the neck with his own stick. Needless to say, this little act got him a penalty, and probably some serious glares from the refs. There was a big cheating scandal in the NHL involving goalie Matt Murray during his time with the Toronto Maple Leafs. People thought Murray was loosening the net on purpose so he could easily kick it off. This would stop the game and potentially take away goals from the other team, giving the Leafs an unfair advantage. The first time this happened was during a game against the Philadelphia Flyers. Someone in the control room noticed Murray messing with the net during a timeout and tweeted about it. Later, against the Minnesota Wild, the net came off its moorings three whole times. 
The Wilds coach was really mad because he thought Murray was doing it on purpose and wasn't getting punished. Murray himself said he didn't know what was going on and that he always pushed off the net. But a lot of people didn't believe him. This wasn't the only strange thing that happened with Murray. In another game, three goals against the Leafs were overturned and the net came off again during a goal. But really, who knows? He's 6'5", and with the new marsh pegs the league moved to for player safety, maybe they just aren't stable enough to support a big guy like Murray pushing off of the post, especially when they aren't fully inserted or not correctly. I've seen guys complain about this in the- Fans were furious and threw trash on the ice. The NHL never said for sure if Murray was cheating, but these incidents sure made it look suspicious. And I don't, I think it is his fault. If he's pushing off with his feet and the net's coming off it's the post, yeah. I think that's the marsh peg's fault. But on all three of those clips, his upper body pushes it off. Spezza's shaved stick steals the spotlight in Maple Leafs' loss. During a close game against the Toronto Maple Leafs, the coach suspected Jason Spezza, Ottawa Senators player, might be using an illegal stick. With just two minutes left and the Leafs trailing by one goal, the coach asked the refs to check Spezza's stick. Knowing something was up, Spezza broke his stick and tried to get to the bench quickly. What he does just before the draw here. He's looking, he sees it, he knows he's in trouble. So oh, he breaks it. Oh, oh. Isn't that interesting? Uh -huh. Yeah, caught by uh -huh. our terrific cameras and truck. But the ref wasn't fooled. They took the broken stick and measured it. Turns out Spezza had shaved the blade down thinner than the rules allowed. This doctored stick earned him a two-minute penalty. Ottawa penalty, number 19, Jason Spezza. Two minutes for having an illegal stick. An illegal stick, great job, guys. The Leafs coach explained his decision to call out Spezza. He wanted to give his team a chance to win by getting a power play, advantage due to penalty. He argued that Spezza's stick was not only illegal, but also dangerous. Spezza, however, didn't seem too bothered by the accusation. The real problem, as the refs confirmed, was that the shaved blade made the toe part of the stick too short. The coach even admitted he knew Spezza had been using this illegal stick all season. Unfortunately for the Leafs, the penalty didn't help them score. They lost the game despite the power play advantage. Maintaining a fair and exciting game of hockey requires a shared responsibility. The NHL needs to enforce rules consistently, players must uphold sportsmanship, and fans and media should act as watchdogs. By working together, we can ensure that the NHL remains a league where talent, dedication, and fair play are valued above all else. Do you think the NHL does enough to prevent cheating? What other measures could be taken to promote sportsmanship? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content about the NHL.